Hello guys, Gil here from Machinaires and today we are going to take a look at how to make this war movie title. This is a really simple title and very easy to do. So to start we are going to create a new project. You can create Full HD or 4K if you want. I'm going to make 720p because it's not so heavy. And 29 FPS. Now we need to create the title, so right click and add title clip. I want to create three texts just to be more easy to align. I'm using this audio wide font, you can find it in Google Fonts. And for this first text, I will make 260. It's a bit too big. So. Okay, 220, and the war also 220, and you can align the way you want. So, Ice Guide is this not text, you can put it in the middle, and it's a guide for the other texts. For the piece, I will make the color white, not poorly white, if this. 236 and we can make the same color for the war big screen color okay and we created the title now we need to animate this title I will also edit it to duration to two seconds it's a really fast title and I will zoom in now we need to animate, I will add the transform effect, right click, insert effect, transform. And the animation is also simple. For the first frame, we make the size like uh, 280. And we jump 5 frames. We add a keyframe. And bring the size down to 140. And we jump again to frame 7, add a keyframe, bring the size to 100. Now we go to the end, add a keyframe, and we go up to 105. And we have an animation like this. Okay, you can minimize this transform, and we bring the Tint. And this tint effect also has an animation. For the first frame, we are going to make pure red. And the tint amount to maximum. Then we jump to frames, frame 5. We are right here. And we add a keyframe and let like this. And we go just one frame up, like frame six. We add a keyframe and bring everything down. So now we have this change color. I don't know how to say this, but we have it. Now we need to copy this layer and paste it, the V2 layer. And here we are going to cut right here in this, I mean, we don't want this red color in this V2 layer. So we cut it. I'm gonna cut with Shift R and just delete the front part. Now in this second layer, we don't have the red color anymore. But it's still the animation. Nothing changed right here. Still the same animation. But now we have this layer separated. We are going to add a new track, copy this V2, and paste in V3. And this one here, we just need to remove the tint 
and we don't make any more change in this V3. So I will just hide this one and we're gonna work in the V2. V2 also don't need the tint because it's the natural color. Okay, we are going to add the blur, the square blur. You can try the other blurs, but for me this square blur works fine. And I'm going to add the value kernel size to 10. Now I'm going to add the glow. And this one I will I will make the value to 400. And the last one is RGB adjustment. RGB adjustment. For this one you can play with the colors if you want, but I want this to the red down, the G, the the green green color to 500 and the blue color to 1000. And the action I will change to multiply. And the keep luma I will uncheck this box. Now I have something like this. If you bring back the V3, you can see the effect. It's like a really tiny tiny glow on the on the edges of the text. As I say, you can you can play with the colors if you want. For me, this this blue color is already good, so I will add like this. You can stop right right here if you want. You have already a really nice text animation. Just need to add some audio, but I want to add a new track. In this new track, I will bring the overlay text tree for this text. I'll just rename this to overlay. Bring to the top. And here we have a, a problem. Just cut this one right here. Shift R. We have a problem right here because this text tree needs to be over this one and this one. But this one has this red, this red color and acts differently of the white color of this one. We're going to add a composition for the first part, the red one, and a new composition for the second part, the white one. For the first one, we are going to multiply. And of course, we need to change the composition track to V1. And we have something like this. For the second one, we are going to change the composition to overlay. And of course, we can make the composition track to V3. Now the text is already done, but as you see right here, the text tree is not following the animation. And the text animation makes the text tree a little bit smaller than the text in some parts. We fix this in a very easy way. We just need to copy this first track because this one is the original one and we just paste the effects on the text tree and, just, and remove the tint, just let it transform. Now the text tree animation follows the text and we don't have any more issues. Now we need to bring the audio. I have this tree audio right here, you can download in the description and I, I always like to organize my files so I will make the audio in one folder. And right here we have this gas power. This one is our background. We have this wrinkle, pa wrinkle plastic. It's, a, it's like an organic sound that I want to mix with the background. And for the last we have this sniper riff, snipe, snipe rifle shotgun, I maybe. We rename to Shotgun. And this one is just to close the title. So we bring the background. And we bring the organic. The organic starts right in the change of the color. We change color and starts the organic. It already have a fade in and out, but I'd like to add my fade in and out right here. And also this one is really big, I will cut right here and make fade out more bigger. And for the last we have this shotgun and becomes more bigger. I will just cut 
the organic right here and bring the shotgun right here and this shotgun has a end sound right here we don't want it we just want the shotgun sound we can cut shift r delete the last part bring together this background sound fade out let's see our background sounds like this With the organic it sounds like this And with the shotgun in the end Now with the text And of course I, gonna, I don't wanna try to show it the effect because it probably will slow down my machine You can see the result in the render or in your own machine And that is it for today If you have something that you want to know about cutting Live Or want to see me trying to do Let me know in the comments below Don't forget to like, share, subscribe And hit the bell so you don't miss the notification of new videos